folks, Cal Kellogg here. Um, I just came in the house, I was burning a bunch of debris in my yard, leaves and whatnot, and uh, just getting ready to do a little type and get get started on the next issue of the Fish Differ Magazine, but I decided, you know what, I'm going to run up and check my mail because I've been expecting a package, and I'm going to do one of those those silly unpackaging videos you see on, uh, on YouTube all the time. I ordered some stuff from... Bobby Loomis at Max Lure. He's one of the guys you never see, but he's in there behind the scenes where they're making the lures. He works directly with Gary Morales. And uh, here it is. I got my package. And this is this is this is trout and uh, kokanee stuff. And I'm here in my office. My my office. I'm glad you can't see it all. It's a mess. Everything's here. Got my big Berkeley banner. I got deer horn fishing rods and the big mess and my wife says why don't you clean this office up well too busy playing with my toys but anyway let's see what's in this big awesome envelope my trusty kershaw i could use a scissors but that's a lot cooler so anyhow here we go oh boy now let's see I'm getting ready to do a kokanee video for Max Lure, and I, I needed some stuff, so, all right, so, right off the top, wiggle hoochies, pink wiggle hoochies, um, I just completed a wiggle hoochie video, these are the pre-rigged models, pink ones, pink are dynamite for kokanee and for uh, rainbow trout, so, a couple pink wiggle hoochies there. And then I have a bunch, I ordered a bunch of different colors of wedding rings. And these are the kokanee, um, what are they called? These are the kokanee killer version. So they have a single um, dressed hook on them. There's a silver on silver with some red beads. It's the same version with a glow hook, pink and silver. Pretty standard wedding ring right there. Red chrome blade so and you get the idea you can go on the Max Lure website and see all these yourself these are the kokanee killer line of wedding rings and you know wedding rings are just a phenomenal lure they're the uh, they're the original snailed or snail people always make fun of me when I say that anyway whatever but they are the original snailed spinner and uh, they're great for trout they're great for salmon um, of course, I'm going to tip these guys with corn for the kokanee, but when you're trout fishing, put a piece of worm on there, you can put nothing at all, and of course, you want to put some, some Pro-Cure on there. That's always a good idea. But anyway, look at that. That is, that is chrome, orange blade, red beads. That's just pretty, pretty cool. So, whoa, let me, uh, let me just kind of, kind of go through here. Yeah, they sent me, they sent me all the colors of these. There's a chartreuse blade. Pretty standard looking one right there. Uh, what is that? That's a that's a chrome hammered blade with orange and uh, lighter orange beads. So anyway, go on Max, Max Lure's website and uh, you can check out all the colors. They're all deadly. If you break them, you can re-rig them on your own line. So all that. But I was very excited about these. And he sent me, oh yeah, he sent me every color it looks like. These are the Max Lure Double D Dodgers. You can see that's a that's a UB kind of silver bluish one right there. Here's an orange one. Now these are very unique Dodgers. Um, they 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 look a little like a, a standard herring Dodger, but if you kind of look at them, let me pop one out of the package here. If you look at these guys on the profile, they're not as aggressive. Look at this. Look at these on the profile. They're not nearly as aggressively cupped as a standard uh, herring dodger like a Vance's, like a Seps, like a Silver Horde. So they're not as aggressively cupped, but that's that that's one of the things that makes them unique. The other thing that makes them unique is you'll see right up here, there are actually five holes in that dodger. And that's important. And you've got a... Uh, a swivel and lock snap up here. Now this is the end that goes to your to your pole 
And this down here, this is where you might put a wedding ring or a hoochie or whatever when you're out coping and trout trolling. But what are these four holes for? Well, this is a dodger that acts a little like side planer. You can start moving this snap swivel over into these other holes, and what that causes to causes the dodger to do is it, it causes it to walk away from the boat. Now, I've used these in big boats before. I haven't used them in my, in my kayak before, but I kind of think this is going to be a game changer because a, a kayak, I mean, I have a huge kayak. It's 48 inches wide, but still in the grand scope of things, this is not very wide. So certainly not as wide as the big uh, sponsored Duckworth I run at times. So bottom line is with this Dodger, it's going to allow me to spread my gear out a little bit and that's just going to prevent tangles. So I'm, I'm very interested in running this on one of my hybrid lead core rigs. Um, places I'm going to fish initially, the kokanee are kind of up in the top 25 feet. So I'm going to be able to walk this, you know, over there, have a, a top line out there and uh, cover a little more water. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of stoked on it. That's a very interesting prospect. So I've got the, I've got the, the orange one. I've got kind of the blue chrome. Guess that came off that one. I got the pink. Pink. Haha. <laughs> Coconut color. I love that. Love pink. So that's awesome. Another orange one. Oop. There's a gold one. That's pretty snazzy. Anyway. Thinking about kokanee. So early in the morning, you want to go with your brightest stuff. I would go with that chrome on chrome colored blade. Now as the sun gets higher in the sky, and I might team that with uh, with one of these wedding rings that has just a straight, straight chrome blade with the chrome beads. Early in the morning, that's going to work fantastic. Later in the day, you always get that that time when that kokanee bite shuts down. They get a little scared then. Too much flash. And Vance Staplin taught me this years ago. Too much flash. It blows them out of the water. Rainbow trout, not so much. But kokanee, they're like, oh, oh, I can't, I can't hang with that flash. So that's when you want to break out your gold stuff, your copper stuff, your more subtly. There's another gold one. Your more subtle stuff, maybe a, maybe a wedding ring like this, a light pink beads with a light pink blade, something that you're not getting as much flash out of. Just a little subtler and. Uh, that's how you reignite that bite mid to late morning water goes glassy all of a sudden you can't catch a fish but they're still there you still see them on your sonar go subtler and you can usually get that bite going again so anywho another pink one it's like a packing sheet here Oop, another blue one anyway i clearly have a lot of stuff and then this was the uh, the final lure that I'm really excited about. Ooh, that's a nice wedding ring. Look at that one. That's that's got the glow white blade. Um, hmm, that's interesting. I like that. So anyway, a couple more of the the rigged wiggle hoochies. Those are the the clear and purple UV. So anyway, and when I get these guys, you probably saw my video. You can check it out on the channel. I was re-rigging my own wiggle hoochies with the with the bills. You can get those bills, and uh, I ordered some, but they were actually out of them right now because it's pretty darn popular. But it's just, when you get a rigged one like this, it's just a ma it's just a matter of time until you're gonna hook you're gonna hook fish on it. You're gonna be getting that hook out, and you're gonna snap the leader. So that's cool. Put that away. Put that aside. Now you got a bill. So I I, I rebuild mine. I use a little. These are on. I think these are on eight pound test, something something along those lines. You get a great wiggle on eight pound test, but I like to re-rig them on, on, on 10 or even 12 pound test. 10 is about perfect for me. It's a little bit tougher, and uh, you can see my whole rigging video. Check that out. It's uh, it's one of my, my recent vlogs. But anyway, last lure. This is the, what do they call this guy? This is the, this is the old double whammy Kokanee Pro. Oh boy. But what it is, it's just a smaller version of that tried and true wedding ring. It's got that smile blade on there. It's a more compact lure. That lure is, not counting the hooks, I would say, that lure is about an inch long. So 
that's a lot more compact. And that's another thing you want to do when that bite slows down. Bite slows down, um, definitely a good time to downsize your lures, get rid of that flash. I remember one time, and, and then I'll, I'll shut up and we'll move on. But uh, I remember one time I was up on Stampede Reservoir with Van Staplin, and we had a good bite in the morning. And things started slowing down. And uh, Vance is all, well, uh, let's try a kokanee bug. Breaks out the kokanee bug, and sure enough, starts hooking fish on it. But we only had one bug. Um, so I start digging through all my stuff. Long story short, I take a pink bead and uh, put a red hook behind it. And we started using that, that little pink bead, a red hook with a piece of corn on it, in place of a kokanee bug, and I started hooking fish on that too. Now all of a sudden we got two rods fishing, finished out our limit, and we hit the road. But when the going gets tough, remember, go subtler, go smaller, and you get that bite going again as often as not. And uh, I've also had great kokanee fishing in the afternoon and evening when nobody fishes for them. But you usually got to go a little subtler until right before dark. Then you can bust out your early morning stuff again. But anywho, I got to get out of here. I'm going to actually grab a bite to eat. I got to go check this, uh, this burn pile because it looks like, looks like there's a lot of smoke out there. But anyway, I got a lot of wet leaves on it. But Max Lure, Trout, Kokanee, Kings. Go on their website, get yourself some gear. You will not be disappointed. I've rambled here. It looks like I've been going on for like 12 minutes. So anyway, I'll shut up. I'll catch you next time. This is Kel Kellogg signing off.